Hi there, uh, driveway DIY here. Uh, just thought I'd uh, go for this uh, Rain-X wheel windshield repair kit. Uh, I've got a cracking, well, small little stone chip in my windscreen. Uh, and I've used these kits before, so I thought I'd just take you through uh, how to use them. Great for the DIY, doing it without getting through the insurance and waiting for people to turn up. These are, uh, cost about 10 quid from Halfords, might be a little bit more. Uh, and they're great for uh, fixing small little stone chips. Not sure about big cracks or whatever, but stone chips, sure, they, uh, I've used these before. As you can see, I've got a bit of a kit forming here. Uh, and it seems to do the job. It comes with really comprehensive instructions. Uh, it comes with, it comes in, in this format as well. It comes on a, uh, with instru yeah, I've got instructions, it comes in this format. Comes with all the kit, which you get a uh, this setup, which sticks to your windscreen. And the idea is, is that you put the resin in the chamber, pushes push this down, and it applies the pressure and pushes the uh, pushes the resin into the uh, into the actual crack of the windscreen. And it, you know what? For a small chip, it works really well. Uh, so it comes with with this kit. I've got a couple now, so I've been using them for a little bit. Uh, comes with for, uh, strips that you put on the resin, resin while it dries. Uh, comes with resin itself and a couple of blades to scrape off to finish off the, uh, the actual job at the end of it. So, uh, further ado, I'll show you what how to do it. Uh, obviously, you check your instructions, read through your instructions, they are pretty comprehensive and they do. Uh, explain it really really well so I'll just show you if you can see there that's how the instructions come so read that when you uh, when you get your kit so this is what I've done put the uh, uh, the system onto the windscreen and if you can see right down the middle there's a chamber you can just see where the stone chip is and that stone it's not very big but that's what I'm sort of uh, trying to fill in so I'll uh, what I'll do next is show you what I do with the resin and uh, push the uh, and fill the chamber up with the resin and push the uh, this this nozzle through it, screw it down, and that pushes the resin straight into the uh, straight into the chamber. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to screw screw down the uh, the chamber so it's uh, pretty tight up against the. Uh, and don't over tighten it because it'll end up coming off, but just enough to seal it. It's got a rubber bung at the rubber seal at the bottom. And the idea is, is you get your uh, get your resin and you put like three to six drops in. Obviously, don't swim it, but I mean, this is only small anyway, so three to six drops. And then you get your uh, applicator and just slowly. wind it down till it's completely sealed and the idea is is it'll push it'll push it push that into into the crack so we're going to leave that for about four to six minutes so leave it yeah leave that for four to six minutes Make sure you read the instructions as you go because this is just an overview rather than a detailed picture. But uh, the idea is well to do in the sunshine as well, so it dries it out really, really quick. So put that on for about three to six minutes, and then uh, I'll put the uh, the clear uh, the clear shield on it, and then then you just leave it for a while after that. So now it's been about five or six minutes or so, so what I'm going to do now is just take the whole thing off, just release it. There's probably a bit too much resin in it. And then just put that on it, and the idea is to uh, let that dry, leave that in the sunlight. You know, you're supposed to put two or three on there, two, three drops, but I've probably spilt a little bit more. But let that dry in the sunlight. You can't do this on a wet day either. I, mean, I don't know if you can see that. There's the crack in there. I mean, it doesn't get rid 
of the actual crack but it actually strengthens it and stops it from carrying on so I'm going to leave that for a while and let it cure for about five to ten minutes and then uh, see where that is while I have my dinner. So the idea now is when it's been dry for about five to ten minutes is that you pull that off and you get your blade and you give it and you scrape off the resin. So you can see how tough it's gone. Like I say, it's still there, but it's should have for, uh, sort of glued the crack together so it doesn't go any further. I mean, this windscreen's covered in cracks. It's got all sorts of stuff. I mean, the forever relaying like roads around here and stones flipping up. I mean, there's a, uh, I don't know if you can see, there's a sort of a uh, big one there. I don't know if you can see that. But uh, that's been like that for a while. I did that one a long time ago and it's been fine ever since, not cracked. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, really. I mean, for 10 quid. It might stop you uh, having a major crack where you need a new windscreen. Uh, so it's worth a shout. Uh, like I say, it's done me, done me all right. So uh, give it a go. Hopefully this helps you. Uh, give us a few comments or ask any more questions about it. Uh, it's really hard for something like this to try and get the full, uh, full shebang in. But uh, that's pretty much how I did it and it seems to work for me. Uh, hopefully this helps you. Thanks for watching. See you soon.